We're in the post-match press conference with uh, Wittenberg University Tigers, and uh, we have head coach Evelyn Karras, Katie Heistan, he stands, he stands, and Aubrey Cox, Ashley Brooks, and Taylor Yance. And uh, a valiant effort today, coach. Uh, your team fought hard, took that first set, and really made things hard uh, on Muskegon, but ultimately they got it done in four. Uh, just your thoughts on the match. Yeah, um, I think we, Muskegon is obviously an opponent that we know very well. They're very similar to us. Uh, we had already played them once in earlier in the season, and we came out with a lot of fire, and it was really good. Um, that's a little bit of fire that we've been missing for a couple weeks, and so to come out and play at that level was really encouraging, um, especially with the youth that we have on the floor. We're led by a really strong unit of three seniors, but we've got a ton of youth surrounding them. Um, and so the effort was always there. Um, there were some big special plays that were made. I'm really proud of our defensive efforts. Um, but kudos to Muskingum for evolving, and we got to get young players to learn how to evolve, and we'll get there. But. Katie, your thoughts on the match? Uh, you know, you had some offensive uh, kills and uh, got some things going. Um, what were some of the things that went well for you, and then ultimately what started turning the tide for Muskegon? Um, you know, our team has been playing really well lately, and our passing and our setting has been on point, and that really helps obviously get me kills and other people. Um, but I think throughout the match, I mean, I never lost faith or hope in us. I, I mean, I don't think anyone did. I think we all truly believed that we could come back and win that game. Um, but I think it was just a matter of Muskingum was on fire. And like Evelyn said, they adapted really well. And kudos to them. Um, so it was a great match. And this team's really, really going to be missed. We're going to miss the seniors a lot. Aubrey, your thoughts on uh, this match here? Um, you guys have had a lot of tournament runs, and again, making it back to the tournament this year. It's got to uh, feel hard to lose this one, but the fact that uh, you know your senior year, you made it back to the NCAA tournament, it's something to hang your hat on, isn't it? It is. Um, I'm very fortunate to be a part of a program where we have um, had really successful years and made it here every four years. Um, so I just am very thankful um, for the coaches and the friends that I have made um, through this journey, but not just friends, but the family. Um, and I'm not gonna get emotional, <laughs> um, but I just am very proud to be a Tiger and I will love to watch you guys next year. That's all I'm gonna say. Probably here, let's face it. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, uh, what's your thoughts on playing for this Wittenberg program and uh, being a part of this journey? It's been absolutely amazing. Um, Ever since I was little, I always wanted to play like at Whitburg and being a part of this team like this season was wonderful with all of the players. We all grew so much and we all had so much fight all the time. Like we saw it in the fourth set, like we came back from very far behind and we were fighting and we were there. And I'm just proud of every player on this team and all we've put in all season. Taylor, uh, you've seen a fair amount of time um, for Whitburg and uh, you know, you've been a big part of this team's success. Uh, what's it meant to you? Um, it's been awesome. Like I'm born and raised in Springfield, so it's really cool to like go to my hometown college and play in front of like my family. Is there every game? They're awesome support, and I'm definitely gonna miss it. This team, like everyone, just reiterating what everyone said, is was really special. Like we got along so well, and we just really love spending time with each other. So I'm gonna miss them the most, just being a big family all together. But I know it's we'll still hang out every day. So. <laughs> Hey Coach, uh, what have the seniors meant to this program? Uh, there's no words that can measure what they've meant. Um, I've been lucky to have been with them for four years. Um, got to recruit a couple of them. Um, love you, Obs. Love you so much. Like you've just been a powerhouse and a force to be reckoned with in this program for so long. And to be the first player in NCAC history to win, to be first team all four years, is an incredible feat. Um, and that's just a testament to your work ethic and the kind of person that you are. Ty, you know you got a special place in my heart, a little Lavera over there. So um, I think Ty is one of those people that is going to be consistent for us no matter what. Um, she's always going to give it 100%. She's going to be blunt with me. She's going to be the best kind of leader that I've ever seen um, in a Lavera. And I played that position, so I'm kind of biased. Um, so I'm just going to miss her consistency and I'm going to miss the passion that she plays with and then 
Sarah is one of those people that we had her as a freshman and she took a couple years off and I asked her to come back because I needed her leadership um, and I needed that fire that she played with and I think everybody that saw us play tonight saw the kind of fire that she brings to the court. Um, and we knew, we talked all, all spring long, all season long, that it was going to be hard for her to get into the lineup. And another testament to the character and the grit that these seniors have is that she worked her way into the lineup and was a starting center for us. Um, so I'm going to miss their consistency and just the passion and the kindness that they show and the leadership across the board. They're going to be truly missed. And so thank you, Tiger. You bring us a lot of NCAC pride. <laughs> thank you. All right. Very good. Congratulations on a great season.